Hello YouTube, it's your favorite dentureware. Hope everybody's all right today. I know you are, I know everybody's doing fantastic. Uh, I had a request for a specific song I wanted to do, because uh, you know, I like to please my subscribers out there, so bear with me on this. Uh, I had to learn this song because I didn't actually know it, so I had to learn it, so. Bear with me on this, see if I can do this correctly. You're always strong when I'm tired and weak. Well, I could search this whole world over. You'd still be everything that I need. You're my I know that's probably not the entire song, but I just wanted to throw that out there as a request. Um, the video I did yesterday was a very long video. Uh, I was experimenting with some things. Uh, you'll notice that I got a little frustrated when I was trying to eat my Subway sandwich. <laughs> and I know why the dentures broke loose. It was because of those fucking cucumbers. <laughs> anyway, you know... To be able to laugh about a situation like that, uh, it you know it just makes doing this all worthwhile. I sat there and I and I rewound that little part of the video and watched it again and rewound it again and watched it again and rewound it again and watched it again and I did that over and over and over again and I, I laughed my ass off. I thought it was so funny. I mean, girl, this is something you throw the sandwich down, you know, sit there like I was frustrated as hell, man. I. I really wanted to just throw that son of a bitch across the room, throw the soda across the room, get up, walk out, get on my bike, and just go out and be happy again. Uh, but as you'll notice, when I picked it up and I uh, just kind of forced my way through it, that helped me um, to remember my technique. Um, I have to do that on occasion. Um, now, yes, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't know why you don't just glue your teeth. Well, yes, it would be easier if I glued. Um, and I glued for six months. I really did. I glued my teeth in for six months because I had the immediates, and, of course, I didn't get the soft relines. I had to use the glue. Um, when you're getting the soft relines, that makes the denture fit properly. Um, so you can get used to eating without gluing from day one. Um, in people in my situation that didn't have the soft relines as part of my plan, I had to wait six months to get my hard reline done, uh, my permanent reline. So I had the glue in place of the soft relines. So by the time I was in my fourth month, I was using a shit ton of glue. And I don't like the feeling of the glue. It was really hard to get the denture out. Uh, there was times where I couldn't even get the denture out of my mouth because the top, the bottom one always breaks loose. It, even when you're gluing, it won't hold all day. It'll break loose 
sometime during the day and you might have to put another touch of glue on it. Um, but as far as the uh, top denture goes, I would have to use so much glue sometimes, I would have to glue it in at night in order to give the denture time, the glue time to set up in the morning so I could eat breakfast. That's how much glue I had to use. It was like, uh, you know, half a tube at a time. <laughs> um, but the fact is that uh, because I had to glue so much and for so long that I really don't like the glue. Um, I love the fact that I can just take my teeth out, throw them in a cup, go to bed. I had to fight so many times trying to get that denture out and, 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 and it's like pulling tape off your face, uh, you know, or tape off, your, you know, somewhere that's hairy. Uh, it just hurts trying to get that glue to get off of that gum and, and stuff like that. And because I had to use so much glue, um, you know, it was difficult for me to get the denture out all the time. So sometimes I'd have to go with that denture for two or three days um, because I used too much glue and I couldn't break it loose. And that son of a bitch would hold for two or three days, that top denture. I could take the bottom denture out, but then I would bite my jawbone at night and then cause sores and shit and then you know and then that would hurt so I, I dealt with a lot of bullshit issues for six months while I was trying to glue and I didn't like it um, I didn't like it at all <laughs> as a matter of fact um, I had another request uh, somebody asked me if I could play a specific song and and I don't know all the words to the song so I'm just gonna do the intro um, I had to learn this too, so I'm going to just do the intro and, and let you know that I can play it. So. You know what song that is, right? I don't know the whole song. I'm still working on that one. Um, give me some time and I'll learn it. Um, also, I'm learning um, this one here. See if you know what this one is. Uh, I messed that one up. Hold on. Let me start over. Messed it up again. See, I'm still learning it. Um, Hold on a second, I got another video starting up here and I don't want it to because, uh, yeah, I shut that off for a minute. Damn it. I was uh, creating another video and it just got done rendering. So it's, it starts automatically when it gets done rendering, it automatically plays so I can see that it's rendered properly. Um, anyway, uh, I'm just learning how to do this one. I, I've been playing a guitar for 30 years. Obviously, some songs are a little more difficult to play. So this one, I'm just learning. And I can't keep, I, I keep wanting to go to a different chord, so. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's a hard song. There's multiple, multiple, multiple chords in this song. So.
anyway, that's House of the Rising Sun. I'm just learning how to play that one. Uh, you know, for years, people would go, well, can you play House of the Rising Sun? I would be like, no, because everybody plays House of the Rising Sun. <laughs> so I never wanted to learn it, but I, I find that it's very uh, relaxing and very, I, I mean, it's beautiful music, and I love listening to it on the, on the, on the uh, radio and stuff, and I love uh, listening to it on CD. Um, I personally never wanted to learn how to play it, but I, I figured I might as well, along with uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, I just decided it was time to learn some new stuff, I guess, you know. Wildwood weed grew wild on the farm, and we never know what it was called. Well, some said it was a flower, and some said it was a weed, and I never did give it much thought. <laughs> well, one day I was out talking to my brother, and I reached down for a weed to chew on. Things got fuzzy, and things got blurry, and then everything was gone. <laughs> well, when I came to, my brother said, what is wrong with your eyes? I said, I don't know, I was chewing on a weed. He said, let me give it a try. <laughs> Spent all that night and the rest of the next day trying to find my brother Phil. Called up with him six o'clock the next morning, naked, sitting on the windmill. Well, he said he flew up there. Of course, I had to fly up and get him down because he's about half crazy. <laughs> well, then one day we was... Ah, well, anyway, that's a long-ass song. I'm not going to continue it, but... Uh, Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, yesterday's video with me getting frustrated and aggravated, that's uh, something that we have to go through. It's part of uh, trying to eat without gluing, um, especially me because I have no bottom ridge. And if you've watched my videos, you've seen this a million times. My denture sits flat on my bottom gum like this. Okay, most people have a ridge and the denture sits over the ridge like this on the front. My denture sits flat like this, okay? Just sits flat. There's no ridge there. The denture sits flat on the front. So, of course, <coughs> it can slide back and forth like this, okay? And it can move back and forth like this. And it's, it's much more difficult for me to try to... <coughs> for me to try to get used to eating and things like that. I have to use a different technique for damn near everything I eat. And... A hot dog, I have to use a different technique for a hot dog than I do for a bologna sandwich or uh, for a cookie um, or for a candy bar or for a beef stick or whatever the case may be. I pretty much have to put to memory all these. I bet I have 50 different techniques I have to use right now, and I'm still learning. Um, there's still things that I'm struggling with trying to figure out how to eat. Um, I'm learning new techniques for everything, um, and I have to to put all those into memory and put them all into muscle memory so that when I see that food, my muscle memory goes, oh yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do for this food. Or, you know, like with chicken, um, my I've, I've eaten so damn much chicken now, it's like second nature. I just pick it up, rip it off the bone, no problem at all. Corn on a cob, same way. Apples, the same way. I've learned how to eat apples without, and somebody requested that I eat an apple. Well, I've got three videos on here of eating apples. I don't feel like I need to prove anymore that I can eat an apple. Um, in the one video, you see me get frustrated trying to eat a damn apple, and in the next one, you see me eating an apple just fine um, because I've learned that technique. Um, there's always a technique. Now, don't let your frustration get you down. Don't let it stop you from enjoying your food. Um, keep on keeping on. And uh, just remember that uh, I love all of you. I know you're all going to make it just fine. You're all going to do great. Um, I'll keep the videos coming. It's your favorite Denchware signing off. Don't be afraid to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and don't be afraid to send me a comment.